What's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate Tour Reviews. And you know, I was looking at some multimeters and a company actually reached out to me, asked if I wanted to check out on their multimeter. And I was kind of like, not really. I, I've already got enough multimeters. It's not really a big deal. I don't use them too much anyways. And they said, no, you gotta check this out. We actually make a smart digital multimeter. And I'm like, well, what's that exactly? And they said it's actually a really, really simple to use multimeter, not as feature rich as some other multimeters, of course, but it's designed to just be as simple and as easy to use as possible. So you're not really worrying about, you know, different settings you gotta make and, you know, if I'm plugging this in right or not, you just plug it in and you go, which is pretty cool. So here's the multimeter right now. Um, of course, you do put a battery in the back. It kind of comes with this um, kind of softer plastic overlay case for it. Keep it a little better protected, you know. Um, it's right on Amazon. You can get this for like 10 bucks or cheaper. It goes on sale quite a bit. So it's actually a really affordable little multimeter, which is pretty cool. Um, so you put a battery in, you turn it on, and it's going to be in auto mode. So it'll be sensing, of course, between... Um, you know, voltage sensing and ohm sensing or resistance. Um, it does AC and DC, which is pretty cool. Um, it's not, you know, gonna be, you know, super, super advanced for a multimeter, but if you're just needing a multimeter for just basic stuff, I'm actually quite impressed by this one. And it's pretty much my new favorite multimeter I've got. Now for work and stuff, I've always liked the Cobalt brand. Um, these are pretty affordable. I think I like 30 bucks for like, it was this, um, a outlet tester, and then a no contact voltage tester which was really cool for like 30 bucks. It gets like a five year warranty on this. Um, but if you're like me and you don't use this all the time, if you need to figure out something, it can be a little confusing. Um, you know, am I plugging my red into here or here? Um, which one of these settings do I need to use? I don't use this every day, of course. So it's not something I'm gonna be, you know, super familiar with and be able to use this, you know, perfectly every single time. But the Tesmit is pretty cool because it's just simple. You just turn it on and go. So let's uh, check the voltage of a battery here. I've got the Flex. This is a 2.5 amp hour, 24 volt battery. And of course, even if I, you know, touch the wrong leads here, this is gonna be positive, negative here in reverse. It's still gonna actually give me a negative voltage there, which is pretty cool. So negative 24.63 volts. That's what I'd expect. I flip this around, of course, now it's gonna read the proper reading, but still, there we go, 24.63 volts. It's just that simple. I didn't make a setting adjustment. I didn't have to move anything around. It's just, boom, there we go. So I can also check resistance, and of course, there's no settings that press here to go from voltage to resistance. So if I go onto this Makita charger here, it'll give me a resistance here, uh, 44.4 ohms. 44.5 ohms there, so that's pretty cool how it automatically can sense that. Now I'm sure this is this is probably a feature that's already been out for a while. I just wasn't even aware it existed, um, and then I didn't know you could pick one up for this affordable of a price too. So I'm quite surprised at how well this thing works. Um, let's try the Makita battery on here too. It should be right around 18 volts. If I can get that plugged in there, and right there we go. Let me get the lead back in there 20 volts yep 20.39 volts there try to hold both of these with one hand so awesome there we go so not bad actually it's pretty simple and it's also got one other cool feature on it too um, it's got a no contact voltage tester now read the manual it says to unplug the leads and then all you got to do is hold down and then now it's got a little sensor on the back here that i can check voltage for so it's pretty simple. You just pull it, put it up to any outlet, anywhere that's got power, and it lets you know, hey, there's voltage there. So super easy to use, and that's actually a pretty handy little feature too to have in a multimeter to be able to quickly check, you know, voltage without touching anything too. So that is really cool to have. It's just a basic, easy to use multimeter that is super affordable on Amazon. And I'm actually really impressed by this thing. So it's probably gonna be my new like go-to multimeter because oftentimes I really only need to check voltage or resistance and that's about it. Whether I'm checking a battery, checking a wire or a line of something, um, it's just something that I need to just be really easy to use and you know, basic. Of course, I've got other multimeters that have, you know, more features to them, but I'm gonna have to look up exactly how to use that feature properly and make sure I'm using it, you know, correctly and I don't blow up the multimeter by plugging in the wrong way either. So you wanna make sure that you, of course, you're reading the manual, understand how it works. 
Um, but for people who are, you know, not really into electronics, but you still need a multimeter of sorts and one to just work, um, the Tesman is a fantastic choice. So I'll leave a link in the description below for this, and uh, I'm absolutely loving this thing so far. Uh, really, you know, shout out to Tesman for sending me a couple of these, and they are really cool, definitely worth checking out. One of these products, I've just been kind of blown away by how easy it is to use compared to other models that I've had that are, you know, of course you got tons and tons of features on them, but you don't really need all the features all the time. You just need one that's simple enough that just works. So guys, thanks for watching, take care, have a great day, and stay safe out there.